I feel like the red pill stuff is kind of going to trend out in the next like year. It feels like it's kind of like lost a bit of steam. You think so? Yeah. People are saying like Andrew Tate is going to come back and it's going to blow up again. I feel like he's, if assuming they don't push charges um, or press charges, um, although that, I, I still can't tell if it's more or less likely they're going to right now. Um, the um, I feel like he's going to come back. He's going to get like a little bit more popular for a little bit. But then I, I just, I feel like people are getting a bit fatigued by the red pill shit. But maybe not. I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, it's been a lot. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder. I'd like to believe that. I just don't know if I'm as confident. Well, what gives you the idea that people are going to be fatigued? Why are you so confident? Um, I mean, like, things come and go on the uh, internet trend shit. Um, I don't think anybody, like, really stepped up to replace, like, Tate. Like, nobody, like, came in and is like, oh, I'm as popular as Tate now. Like, that never really happened. Um, and I don't know. That's just like the, it's just like a very broad perception. I could be wrong, but I don't know. It's just like a very broad perception I have. Do like, you feel like that happened to Trumpism? Uh, a little bit, yeah. I think that you have to adapt your... St I think that's something that's really important that I've been able to do for because I'm here for 12 years, 13 years. Uh, being able to adapt your stuff and staying culturally relevant is really important. You can't just harp on the same shit forever. Like, eventually, you just become this, like, sad vestige of, like, you know, angsty's past. Like, you, were you around for Gamergate? Uh, is that when the Anna Sarkeesian lady... Yeah, and there was, like, all those anti-SJW people. Sure, um, sure and everything yeah it feels like uh, it feels like like there were people that made content about Gamergate there's probably still some people that make content about Gamergate oh like Sargon of Akkad um, when shit was going down on the internet they tried to say like oh this is Gamergate version 2.0 and it's like bro <laughs> yeah yeah I and then there's also we're hitting the stage too where there's like this critical mass of like infighting in the red pill community too where all of these guys seem to hate each other now I think that's where the religious shift is coming from. I think the reason why the Red Pill folks are attaching themselves so much to Islam is because they're garnering a huge Islamic fan base. But I've just noticed so many Muslims come Ugh. out of the woodwork to defend this. Yeah. I think that's a change in messaging that you were talking about. Think about it. We did not hear about this kind of stuff until a few months ago. And all of a sudden, Sneeko saying he's promoting Islamic uh, principles. Like you said that a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. You're hearing the Fresh and Fit guys bring it up more and more and often. And I see a lot of these like... Red Pill dudes like doing that shift, and I and I think it's like an actual smart business plan in terms of garnering like more of a following. Yeah, you don't it could think be that's a messaging. No, I think it's a smart. Yeah, I think it's smart for messaging and everything. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. I guess. Yeah.